God loves you and he wants you. Shut up! Ah! Fuck out the way! You stop all that curse in front of God. Give me some room. God said he loves you and he wants you. What's up, everybody? Welcome into my home. It's clean, eh? God gave it to us. Anyways, we're going to talk about this Nigerian pastor. Frank? What's his name? Frank Cabell. I ain't never heard that name, Cabell. Yeah, he's a man of God. He was a man of God. Anyways, let me tell you what good old Frank did. Oh man, Pastor Frank. <laughs> yeah, let's show some, yeah. Show some respect. Pastor Frank Cabell. He's a man of God. Yeah. Right. He said God came down and said I love you and I want you. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the story, man. Stop saying that. <laughs> he sound like, what's his name? Shut up! <laughs> sound like, uh, no, man. Felice Johnson. But anyway, look here. This is a dude. He has a, he's a pastor. He's, he's got his own congregation. Right? Got his own church, don't he? Yeah, sounds like it. Got his own congregation. So he, he was, before his congregate, congre he was standing before his congregation, his people in God. And he had a whole lot of faith going on that day. He had too much faith. You know what I'm saying? He told his congregation, yeah. they said, if you got faith, you can do anything. And he was, going, he was willing to prove it. He said, church, congregation, come on down here by this, this river. Something like that, like a lake or something. There was a whole bunch of water gathered in one place. Yeah, it was 20 miles across, wasn't it? Something like that. That he, sounded like an ocean. Well, part of the ocean. Something. But it, it don't was, seem like no little cricket, no, no, no little creek of water walk, you know? Yeah. So he said, I'm going to walk on water. Like God, yeah. Like the man himself, yeah. Jesus, they call him. So, down there tried walking across and obviously he didn't have enough faith. He fell in and drowned. He <laughs> never came back up. Drowned in front of his whole church. Man, that, that, that must have been terrible, man. If anybody, and his congregation had any sense of doubt in his faith or anything, that would have ruined his whole faith in God. They're like, did you just see that? He had all his faith in God. God told him, I love you and I want you. God told him he was going to walk on water. Yeah, he had a reservation. God came to him, told him, said, go down there to the river and walk across it. Guess God changed his mind. Yeah. Too bad he didn't let him know. But anyway, tell him about that other pastor, man. There was another dude down there somewhere in Africa. Yeah. He said he was gonna, he was like Daniel. I guess somewhere in the Bible there was a dude named Daniel, and he walked in this pit of lions. Pit of lions, and the lions didn't do nothing to him. I need to read the Bible more, but yeah. he was willing to show everybody he had faith in God. Just like old Frankie did. So he went down to the zoo, put on a, some kind of red robe, and walked in the cage full of lions because... Well, why, why was he wearing that red robe, man? I think it was like enticing to them lions, man. He think it's blood. Well, he had a whole lot of faith in, in God. Did he make it? He didn't make it. Within seconds, they said the dude was ripped from... <laughs> you know, it's 2014, I think. And everybody's... Best interest, I think the Bible needs to come with a warning label. Yeah. Do not try this at home. 